Hello Capricorn and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin and Cape today we're going to do a reading about that person on your mind. Let's talk about this person shall we Cape? Let's find out what you want from this connection. Let's find out what they want. Let's see how they're feeling about you in the present moment and as always what you can expect in the near future here. Let's talk about you and the person you're thinking about the most. We got a few oracles here Cape. Let's talk about it. Mask. Not showing true feelings, personifying, pretending, deluding. Okay, even gaslighting. We'll see which one applies. We have a clock, tick tock. So it takes time and cycles, time to heal, progress. We have girl talk. They be talking about ya. Um, talking with friends, moving on, living in the moment. And we have the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So let's see what's going on here. Capricorn, let's talk about it. And Cap for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. Let's get down to business. Spirit guides, talk to us. So what you want, it's a five of cups, okay? What they want, what do they want from this connection here? Eight of, eight of cups and the two of swords, okay? And how are they feeling about Capricorn in the present moment? The nine of pentacles, okay? And their actions, what can Cap expect in the near future here? The moon. Okay, let's see. You might be surprised here. We got the four of wands. Are those all on camera? They're not. Capricorn, my genuine apologies. Let's correct our layout here. All right, let's talk about this. Let's get down to business. The five of cups is what you want. So let's see what this energy. Five of cups is in this deck. It's about missing an opportunity. It could be a little bit of boredom. It's missing somebody. But the five of cups can also represent something from the past that you haven't healed from, you haven't let go of. What does Capricorn want from this connection, this person here? You want them to open up here. There's the two of cups. You want them to trust you. Six of swords, the ace of pentacles. You want a fresh start. You want to move forward after something that's happened here. So there clearly is a, a rift, a conflict, something going on between you and the person on your mind. Uh, you want to build a friendship with this person. You want them to trust you is my instinct. That's my intuition told me. You want them to know that they can trust you, to know that you're trustworthy. Um, you want to move forward with this person, have a fresh start, a new beginning. I feel like Four of Pentacles is you holding on to them, but it's also an energy of letting them know that you're going to protect them and guard your their heart, you know, their heart. You're worthy of their heart, basically. Um, so you might be dealing with someone who's very guarded here, but or maybe someone who's gone through a lot in their life, or maybe you have. But you want a bond. You want a friendship. Um, and you want to move past whatever's happened between the two of you here, here at Cafe. So what they want is they're at a crossroads here, the Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords. So, what is it that they want from Capri in this connection here? What does Capri's person on the mind want from Capricorn? The Magician, the Ace of Swords, and Death. Yeah, they're going back and forth between a fresh start and a new beginning. So, they're doing a lot of thinking. They're not sure. Your person's a little confused here, Cap. So, whatever's happens kind of put them in a stalemate energy where they're, they want to communicate. They want to move forward. They want a fresh start. They're not sure if it's over, if there can be rekindled, if, um, you know, the spark can be rekindled or whatever. So they're at a crossroads here between walking away and having a fresh start. The Ace of Swords is them trying to figure things out, figure out how they feel, be realistic, be honest with themselves, but really trying to figure out how it is that they feel. So they're a little bit of confused. I feel the girl talk is them talking to their buddies, talking to their girlfriends, talking to their family. Um, you're just getting advice and seeing what's going on, working through their feelings. So the Nine of Pentacles is how they feel about you. So they clearly think you're very single, very abundant, very wise, very happy. People are drawn to your energy. What else? How else are they feeling here about Caput? But they also think you've moved on. <laughs> the death. Holy Shiznick, the tower. They're having a tower moment over you. Damn, they really want to talk, but they feel blocked by you. There's the Empress. Whoa. Capricorn, they think the world of you. Holy fuck. The Empress and the Knight of Pentacles, they think you're the real deal. They think you're everything that they want. They also are having a tower moment. They're struggling here. Um, but with death, they also feel that you've walked away and you let this go. So if they feel it's over for you and they, they definitely think the world of you though. Holy camoly. The Empress and the Knight of Pentacles is like you're genuinely the full package. You can take care of business. You don't need them. Um, and they like that you take care of yourself. You love yourself. This is, you know, a lot of self-love mind, body, soul, a lot of wisdom, very smart, very intelligent master manifester. Damn, damn cafe. They think the world of you, baby. So the moon is what they can expect in the near future. So <laughs> expect the unexpected. Let's see what it means. Cause the moon is kind of something that you're not seeing. You don't see it coming. Uh, it's being hidden from you. So 
What is this energy? What can Cap A expect? Could be another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Okay. So Cap A, some of you might be getting a surprise proposal here. Someone might be like, let's elope and get married. Um, but what you don't see coming is that they think you're the full deal. We already know this, but now the Queen of Pentacles is with the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. Like they want you for life. But with this Knight of Pentacles, they're a very slow mover. So there's very good chance you're dealing with another earth sign or someone who's very grounded, someone who's very stable, um, someone who's very successful at work, but they want a success with you. They want to build a stable relationship here. They want to take their time. They want to get to know you, but you make them happy. There's the King of Swords. They want to be honest. They want to be straight up. And they want to speak their truth. They want to move past this. You make them happy. They want to overcome these obstacles. They want to take the time to deal with these challenges and these barriers to build a life with you. Damn, that's what you don't know. <laughs> uh, so Capricorn, they're about to kind of rock your world here, let you know a few things. So for those of you that were, I think it's going to be like a surprise proposal. Obviously, it's not for everybody, but it'll be the kind of energy where it's like, whoa, that's where this conversation's going, eh, baby? So they were had in their feelings. All right, Cappy, let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot. Spirit, and, and I didn't even notice the four of wands, but I noticed it, but I didn't say anything. This is a card of twin flames of soulmate, soul contract, whichever terminology you believe. It's a card of celebration, happiness. Maybe they'll be asking you to move in with them and you're going to be like, whoa, didn't see that coming. Um, but this is a card of celebration, happiness, and harmony. So harmony is going to be restored. At least they want it here in the near future. And we'll find out where things are in a month. But let's get some oracles first here, Capricorn. So baby, what does Capricorn need to surrender to? When it comes to this connection, this person on their mind, some flip. Nope. Spirit guides, thank you, baby. Obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring clarity or even solve the problem. Oh, damn, your, your date just flew. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, what's the caring connection here for Capricorn? Honor. Honor your loved one and you will notice that your relationship is becoming stronger. Okay? And a hidden truth. If they could say something that they're not saying, they want to say, they can say, they shouldn't say. Let's find out, baby. What is the hidden truth? Spirit guides. You are the best thing in my life. <laughs> Look at the bottom. We need to each let each other go. So they're still at that crossroads energy here. Um, they've barely been struggling with this. So I wonder why they're hiding their feelings like that. What up with this person, baby? What up with this person? But irrelevant. That was the past. This is the present. Let's find out the future. So, Cafe, let's get your potential outcome. When I say potential, baby, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? How you doing? How does this progress? How do you react to this unexpected... Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, hold on. What else is there? There's a lot of cards. Page of Pentacles. I think it's the chariot underneath, but I can't see. So hold on here, Cafe. One moment, please. We got the Six of Wands in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. It is the chariot. Okay. One more card here. Spare guys. One more card. One more card. The Ten of Swords, you're not paying attention. Okay, on the bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, let me just move this. Boop, boop, boop. Um, so what I see here is for movement. There's a conversation. There's the offer on the table. It is your destiny. It is working in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. Um, it's the most bittersweet card that comes out, but it's really nice when it comes out like this because it means that now is the divine timing. You don't got to wait for the divine timing. You're moving forward. You're accepting this offer. Some of you could be moving in together or getting married. And if you are, congratulations. Um, but I feel like you're not giving attention to the past. You're healing. You know, the Ten of Swords is an energy of um, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, letting go of some of the hurt and the sorrow. It's really an opportunity to heal. So I feel you guys have taken the time to heal. You're not giving attention to the past, which represents forgiveness and trust and balance being restored in this connection. Um, the four of pentacles, it represents building stability, foundation, harmony, right? Look at this card. It's different than the other decks. Um, but four of pentacles really does represent stability and foundation. And you guys are taking, you're going to get what you want here. And you're taking the time, the knight of pentacles. You definitely could be dealing with another earth sign. There could be 
uh, age difference here. Um, but you guys are taking the time to build that foundation within yourself. So I feel you've had some difficult conversations, but forgiveness and trust has been worked through with whatever it was that happened. Um, and I feel you guys feel each other's destiny and you're moving forward here in a really great light. Like I said, they, they think the world of you and they want to show you. Um, and, you know, actions speak louder than words, Madhavaka. That's just the facts of life. <laughs> so things are working well. You've accepted their offer. You're moving forward. You're letting go of the past and you two are building a foundation and a life together. That's, that was weird. But look at that. They just want to show you the three of wands. So taking it step by step, <laughs> taking it day by day. But the three of wands is getting what you want. It's all of your work coming into fruition, right? The two of wands and the three of wands is that planning energy, working together, creating a life, uh, getting what it is that you want. So Capricorn, that's what I got, baby. That's what's going on. If you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate the support, Capricorn. So thank you so much. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Spirit guys, what's the answer for Capricorn? Yes or no? All right. Are you ready, baby? No. That's what I have, Cappy. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.